155 millimeter gun motor carriage M12. Specification mass produced M12. Weight 26 tons. Length 6.73 meters. Width 2.67 meters. Height 2.7 meters. Crew 6. Commander, driver, 4 gun crew members. Let's get this show on the road. Vehicle specifications. Armor negligible. Main armament. 155mm M1917 slash 18M1 gun 10 rounds. Secondary armament. 50 caliber Browning M2 machine gun. Engine. Wright Continental R975 EC2 340 horsepower. Power to weight ratio 13.09 horsepower to ton ratio. Operational range 220 kilometers. Speed 38 kph. 19 kph off-road. The M12 was primarily used in the European theater of operations. They are primarily for indirect fire mass groups. The M12 would barrage an area in community artillery tactics. The M12 was also highly effective at anti-bunker duties. It was called the door knock. We shall see more of this later when we take a look at the service of the vehicle in World War II. The M12 was built on the chassis of the M4 Sherman. There were many sources that stated early models were on the M3 Lee chassis, but as far as can be determined, these are either rumors or confusion on the part of the person observing the M12. The armor of this vehicle is thin, just like the M4. The vehicle was not designed for tank combat and as such, only the driver's compartment has any real armor protection. There are only three known 155mm guns mounted on the M12. They are the, the M1917, the M1917A1, the M1918 M1. Each of them are derived from nearly identical French 155 GPF gun, vintage World War I. Due to the small size of the projectile in comparison to the large gun, it was only possible to have 10 projectiles and propellants inside the M12 at any one time. Some t something most artillery drivers would notice when playing the M12 is a large earth spade at the back, similar to a bulldozer blade. This is designed to absorb the recoil of such a large gun. The, this pattern of putting large spade in the rear of the vehicle was adopted for many years by other heavy self-propelled artillery. It helped to add stability when firing. The service of the vehicle during World War II. There were only 100 M12s produced, 60 in 1942 and 40 in 1943. However, short this vehicle may have been produced, the nickname it received was nothing shortly of epic. For the M12's ability to knock down fortifications on the Siegfried Line, the nickname to the M12 is the door knocker, as seen by the destruction of a Ferdinand earlier in this game. It received this thanks to the 155's ability to pierce several feet of concrete at ranges up to 2,000 yards. A variant of the M12 is the sister cargo vehicle carrier M30. It was designed on an M4 chassis just like the M12. It was able to carry 40 rounds of 155mm ammunition. It was armed with a M2 Browning machine gun mounted on a turret ring. The M30 would operate in a pair with the M12. This compensated for the M12's small ammo capacity and would help in defense with its machine gun. The life of the M12 was short. In 1945, it was complemented with the M40 gun motor carriage. Shortly after the war, the M12 was completely retired. The M40 itself, the follow-up vehicle in World of Tanks, is a tier 8. The M40 is the 155 version. The M43 is the 203 version of this vehicle. All specifications of this vehicle are historically accurate, ranging from the gun to the engine and to the radio. All of them are historically accurate in their designation, not so much their effects. The radio would probably reach farther than what the radio in game reaches. The visuals of the tank are probably not the same due to the fact that the artillery would not spot for itself and would have a collar that would give locations for enemy vehicles. The gun itself 
historically probably penetrated more armor than what the gun in game does, due to the fact that the gun was designed to pierce several feet of concrete. It probably had several armor-piercing shells. The M12 also had a knack for point-blank use. It would often be rolled into position to destroy enemy heavy vehicles if necessary. The M12 historically is a very powerful artillery piece and often used in mass. It is not to be underestimated, or else you'll find yourself on the wrong end of the door knocker. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been your friendly dra neighborhood dragon slayer presenting to you another time.